Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. Working, working the Rusty Jack character here today. We're gonna do kind of some CEO-ish stuff over here. There's really, they're both pretty much in the same position. Yeah, that's not entirely true. The CEO has some better toys. But for right now, we have Ibanez guy. All right, we have a guitarist. That that's a good sign. And JDP Gaming PC. All right, rank a thousand. That's impressive. And you might say it's probably a modder, but hey, listen, if GTA men can do it. I mean, GTA men is pretty well obsessed with it, so that's maybe that's not the best. Uh, play any game in an arcade. Okay, we can do that. Participate in a team death match. Nah, not real likely. No, it's not. There's not buckets of likely going on there. It's nothing I can't do a team does match. It's just to try to find, even with this setup, who's going to want to do it. Resupply, boing. Confirm. Sell stock, boing. Confirm. boing doing doing ring a ding a ding -a. What are we going to get? We're all business today. The guns are in an insurgent. Get it to the buyers and your job is done. All right. This is one of my top two here. This is, you know, between this and the Phantom Wedge, which is basically the same mission. It's just whether you do it in a very visually interesting way. And this one's a little bit... This is the not as visually interesting way, although you can ram people off the road pretty well with this as well, but... I couldn't, you know, say it was this insurgent launch that tractor into the air 700 feet. Still, all things considered, might be good to do the time warp again until something interesting happens. So far it looks like this is the really good version of this. There is one where you can get cops when they get tipped off, but this is just me driving five miles. And there's only two other people in session who are probably minding their own business. Just like I'm minding my own business. Life should be good. Now the, the challenge for this one is that you really are an armed unless you got somebody on the turret. It's got this is a full armored insurgent, so you can't use drive by. But you are also relatively well protected. Did you see how fast that that thing just lunged in front of me. If they hit the turbo boost on the on the yogi here, the on the yuga. Oh, tell I'm watching fail race. I'm trying to call them yogis. That wasn't intentional. I'm just. They say. My grandmother used to tell my mother that you know I can tell who you're hanging around with by your speech patterns, and that's probably true for who you're watching on YouTube as well. You gotta be kidding me! This is too perfect. Do you see where this is taking me? I am literally delivering this to uh, my nightclub for all intents and purposes. Like, I couldn't design a mission to do that. We're, we're delivering it to our nightclub. That's utterly perfect. Now, we, cause the next thing I was going to do was a nightclub sale, and here we are. We use the back door entrance, but look at this. Oh my goodness, the efficiency. It takes a long to walk through the nightclub. You know, it's you can you can run out here. We and you can run on this side. You just can't you have to be cool and just walk slowly through the club. Look at that. All deliveries received. Now let's just hope they know how to use them, right? Yeah, that's... I don't really care if they know how to use them. I'm just here for the dollars now. This was idling overnight, and it did start out with about 150k. So I have 500. That's about good. So good. That should be enough to get us to 11 million. And since I've logged in this week, that means I'm getting another million. That takes us to 12. Okay, so we're selling some of the stuff that's been piling up downstairs and giving me a heart attack? Great. 
I've sent you an address. The buyer wants the whole lot dumped right there. Okay, this is one of two things, of course. It's either people are going to come in and try and kill me and steal the stuff, or it's a sting operation. And it's usually less effort to deal with people trying to kill you, but, you know, we've, we've pretty much mastered the sting operation thing, especially since I've got a Deluxo selected as my personal vehicle. Three, two, one... Yeah, I'm looking like the sting operation. It's gonna be a sting. It's gonna be a sting. Stingy wingy dingy ding. Let's do the time warp again. Okay, something just blew up. That just teleported in front of me. I don't know what just blew up, but something just blew up on an overpass. I saw a huge flash of explosion. I don't see anyone around me. I wonder, did I, did I turn on the cell and then did an AI drive over somebody's mine? Nobody around. Looks like there's somebody in their, uh, in their casino penthouse. That one caused things to blow up. Odd. Okay, we don't want to get too close before we call in our vehicle and request a personal vehicle. And let it come in behind me. I'm looking this way, so it's got to be behind me. Yeah. Alright, that's probably close enough. It's a little risky because it's across the street. Yeah, you know what? I think I can just adjust. We're gonna we're gonna position this properly. Right there. Actually, you know, what would be even better would be to drive it into a pole. No. You consider when I'm gonna get out of the car. That'll be better. She left the door open. Actually, can we do that? That's really. There we go. Perfect. And the cops, they're not they're not reacting to any of this. Here's all the contraband. I don't know, I don't think cops really scream curses at people like this. Go. What are you waiting for? Go, go, go. I'm getting shot to bits. Now normally if you get shot in the head like that, you don't fly away in a DeLorean. I mean, you don't normally fly away in a DeLorean anyway, but you see it's not very realistic. No. But as far as video game technique is concerned, it's fine. <coughs> Let's make them come across this way. Where did he go? We shot him in the head three times. I don't know, but this is GTA. Oh. Alright, so you just do that. We come back here. Oomph. Close enough for jazz. I remember once I was doing this, I think it was this particular mission, and even though um, even though I'd lost the heat, there was just one cop who kept chasing me. And if he hit you, if he did anything to you, or if he rammed into him, or if he did anything, then you got your wanted level back. So you had this cop who just was finally the one cop in GTA who got it. You know, like, I'm not fooled. You can bribe your way out, or we could other guy can lose interest. I'm, you know, I'm Sheriff, Juf Juf Sheriff Buford T. Justice, not Juford T. Bustis. No, Wayne Juf Buford T. Justice. I can talk on a Friday morning. 
Buford P. Justice, lawman of Texas, the man who chased the bandit coast to coast. Does anybody even know about the whole Smokey and the Bandit movies anymore? I mean, is that like strictly a Gen X thing, or is like, you know, do people still watch Burt Reynolds stuff? I mean, I realize it's hyper dated at this point. You can never even think about it. Stuff that happens in Smoking in the Bandit happening today. If you tried to make that movie, it would just not end well. And back in 1977, it was a big deal that Buford finally had gotten a CB, as opposed to the, the level of communication and coordination that's going on nowadays. I mean, they did have a helicopter at the end of the movie. I mean, if you did Smokey and the Bandit today, um, the Bandit would be caught and you'd catch him in a YouTube, you'd see it all in a YouTube video because there'd be helicopter footage being streamed online of the whole thing. I mean, he'd never get away and find a chance to romance Frog in the whole nine yards. You know, it's just... When they rolled into the uh, rolled into the carnival there, the, the racetrack at the end of the thing, you know, there'd be video footage of him arriving and leaving. They'd know exactly who the bandit was heading off to get that clam chowder. I mean, you just, you know. But 1977, it gives you an idea of the kind of real, the freedom that existed back in the day. And maybe, you know... I'm not saying that's better because you could do more extreme acts of illegality, but Okay, you made the sale. We finally got currency to run through the tills at this place. All anyone drinks nowadays is bottled fucking water. The profits minus the laundering fee will be in your account soon. Hey, it's your friend Simeon. Simeon, Simeon, Simeon. Buzzard me. Now, I was going to switch. I was going to switch back to... Um, to a closed crew, but I mean, hardly anybody here. We've got Scythe Corpse, which, I mean, he may be... <laughs> I'm kicking the door open with the tail rotor. But we're, we're halfway there already. Why don't we just do this? I'd like to get a couple, one or two at least, of the, the heist prep missions done. And heading back to the... First of all, heading back to the arcade, I've got to clear out the 50k that's almost certainly in there. I've emptied the bunker. That's reset. I've emptied the nightclub. That's reset. So as I'm playing, where we've not lost any productivity. And again, you don't need to do any of these missions in a public session. But if you've got a really quiet public session, there's nothing... There's no point in going through the effort of switching. It's and it is effort. Let us be honest. That would be like an interesting, uh, an interesting mission if they could design it. Like imagine that you had to run blocker for a delivery, just like in Smoking the Bandit. Like the truck had to leave somewhere up here, and you had to, uh, you had to keep a certain number of stars so that the truck got where it was going. He had to be in a, within a certain range of the truck. That would be a challenging mission. Do your own Burt Reynolds kind of thing, you know? It'd be especially cool if they did, like, actually had, like, a, a very specific 
high-powered, you know, police car that went with you, like an actual Buford D. Justice moment kind of thing, where there's, in addition to all the other police, there's this one dogged and relentless one. And you have to do it without killing any police. You have to do it without shooting anybody. That would be the, the thing. Okay, let's empty the safe. I guess while we're here, we should play a video game. Although, I'm not sure how to get out of the video games. That's that's a thing. We will do that last. Last time I, the last time I was in a video game... Um, yeah, trying to get out of it was like, this is your life now. You couldn't... I had to exit... I had to kill the, the program and reload GTA. So that is problematic. Let's get this deposited. And where am I going? If I'm not going to go play video games, then I shouldn't be walking down the steps. That's not even a thing. Go back up here. Access the basement. There's no such thing as enough. Which would make sense for Lester, because what? He, like, he's a, a multi-hundred millionaire kind of guy. We don't need anything here. We do. Let's see, where are we at with this? Prep port up. Let's do. Hmm. I'd love to change the, the world on this one, but. Hacking device, key cards, unmarked weapons. Security I pass. Digging and identified some weak links we can exploit to get security passes to the back areas of the casino. Now it won't get us all the way down to the vault, but it might get us through a couple of doors. Definitely want to do level two. Level two is the thing. Okay. Now the reason I'm not planning on doing like all of them in like one kind of marathon session here is, as you can see, this is going to be some work because we're all the way up at the other end. This is the, the downside of the freak arcade. It's, but I've got a helicopter, so it's, we can mitigate some stuff. Go to Hill Valley Church. Wasn't Hill Valley the name of the town in Back to the Future? certain. Marty! You need to get the hearse! Doc, I don't like fondling dead guys. You all have sacrifices to make, Marty! Those are some of the worst impressions. I could do a much better Christopher Lloyd, but not this morning. Just now. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, here we are. Let's... Pull this thing in. Put it down in the parking lot. Because naturally, you know, there's going to be a hearse here. And all this stuff. What time is it? Yeah, because in the middle of the night, this is what you'd expect to have happen, I guess. I mean, I guess it is a morgue. People are being dead all the time, so it's... Romeo. Romero hearse. Here's the Romero hearse. Hi guys, I'm just taking your car. I'm just riding away. It's okay, we can get rid of the heat. Right around the bend. We're taking this hearse up the hill.
The Romero hearse. Ah, hello. Say goodbye to your hearse. Come on, baby. You don't have to like, get to the top of the hill. It'll be kind of nice. Let's go. Up, Simba. Let's roll. Let's rock and roll. And... Okay, now it's just a challenge of the hill climb. That's, that's good enough, right? Yeah, it's close enough. Look out at the city. Look for the cops. They have they have started climbing the hills more. You gotta watch that. They've done some tweaks there. I think you know they they figured out this is what people do. Okay. Wee woo wee. I'm just letting it roll. Letting it roll on down the poof. Okay, that's a problem. It's not a huge problem. It's just an annoying problem, but we have we have methods. You just gotta get the nose out. No, no, not that. We don't shoot the tires out. We just wanna go boink. And you give it a boink and then you're fine. The hearse is a little beat up, but I mean, you know. Strange to say, but you know, the hearse has a nice sound to it. I don't think they'd give it such a good... Of course it would be kind of a big old American V8 and... I think you would end up with like extra good uh, mufflers though, so you wouldn't hear too much of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Probably they don't really need that because if you're um, if you're in a funeral procession, you're not really running in the top end of the RPM band, you know, like this is it's just. Have I changed clothes yet? No. You mustn't change clothes until you get to the, the corners, which that makes sense. Of course, the clothes all just change magically in this game. Just, phew, there's no like actual changing involved. Not complaining about that. If you had to change clothes half the time, like you actually had to you know, take the time to put on a suit here, this would be really, really annoying. Split the uprights. Excuse me. Okay, we're almost there. And now it's a stealth mission. This is one of the most important things. You then if you you do the level two, you pretty much don't have to do any hacking. Ta-da! Magic clothes change. Stealth mode. Okay, um. now look around for our valet, but try not to draw any attention to yourself. Do you see the valet? He's in a big red outfit. Almost completely goofed it there. I walked in with the freaking space gun. There's a valet and he's not Search real. his pockets for his pass before anyone sees you. Oh, you poor bastard. We're so sorry for... Well, he wasn't going to use it. This pass should give us access to the level 2 doors in the back area of the casino. Head back out the way you came in. And try to forget you just fondled a dead guy. Let that guy walk ahead a little bit. You don't want to stay in their cones of notification here, yeah. They're, I'm just a, I'm just a regular old coroner, just a regular funeral director, and we're out. We'll leave the area. Can we leave the area in the hearse? You don't need to bring that in, not yet at least. Just hold on to it until I see you next. Okay. 
First ahoy. I guess I'm looking here. Those must be like the, the duffel bags with the clothes in them. I've already checked. You can't keep this one. I'm fairly certain. We can try. Where's our closest garage? We have one over here. Alrighty then. <laughs> We've lost the... We always lose the, uh, the stuff in our neck. Again, I've said it before in other videos, that's brilliant. Because, you know, people do just kill the valets for no reason in line. Online, they just, they just mean. Point. And you can store a regular hearse. Why you can't do this one, I don't know. Or here, what the heck do I have in this, uh... I got room. Okay, so there is room. This was, looks like it's my project list. Thought that was still going to be upgraded and modified. Hmm. And the gold one. I forget. There's a story to the gold one. There's a story to the silver one. Those Videros, they have stories. Alright. But what we need is I don't want to just cruise out here and just anything because we're doing stuff. We need our special little friend here, the Deluxo. And now we're going to have to go all the way back up. It's almost worth it to do the um, to swap sessions. But not quite, because sometimes it's just such a problem and the game blows up and blah, 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 blah. So we'll just do the time warp again. Yeah, I'm doing the heist prep, because you never know, you know, when one of these Fridays or Saturdays or Sunday, something goes going on and you run into somebody that you're actually friends with online and say, hey, you want to do a heist? Yeah, I'm all set up to do a heist. Ah, you want to just do the heist? Well, let's do that. And There's money to be made and fun to be had. Although, again, I would say that if you if you just want to make money, heist is not the way to do it. Gun running, nightclubs, that's the way to do it. MC businesses, if they're double, it's the only way they're worth it. As far as you know, the time spent. This, this is for the challenge of it. This is for... You do get a reward. You do get some money. You get a good amount of money from the, the casino heist. Obviously, it's a heist. But it's definitely not... If you're just, if you're just about the dollars... Yeah... Like right now, if I was really, really just about, I could just easily set this up on a screen, come back in a couple hours, rinse, lather, repeat on selling the the gun running stuff. So obviously, you need like kind of an overnight to get the uh, the nightclub to give a big sale, but ideally 24 hours. It's a little hard on the machine, I'll admit, but it can be done. It's just about the money. There's double money in stunt races. You can you can theoretically grind that. You know, do solo races where you're guaranteed to win. Make sure it goes out eight minutes or I think I think I figured out the, the most efficient way before because then you're getting ten grand. You do ten grand every four minutes.
You have forgotten about me. Mark. Yes. Kiss off. Pixel Pete, it's Pete's with the pixel. Hey, we'll do. Let's see. One more. I'll have to go change outfits, I think. I think I got this with the. Um, I think I got the upgrade to have the little room behind the. The work area here where you can change clothes and sleep and stuff. Yeah. Yep, I did. You change clothes. Add saved outfits. And. Sorry for your loss. We got outfits. Outfit saved. Be Fred ready. That was from when I did that one um, video where I was doing impressions of everybody. Same thing when I was doing impressions of everybody. And luck of the Irish. Okay, that's. Casual America, Peach Biker. That's one of my older outfits. This was this was a funny thing is that uh, that I had somehow glitched into the silk jammies from the other character. I tried to save them, it didn't work. The basics, the default. <laughs> Casual America, bring it on back. Bring it on back. Bring it on back. Okay, so we did that day. Young Ancestor? No. We're not doing the Young Ancestor setup at all. Oh, I have to get the Bug Stars gear and the new scare. Now you have to unlock both. Let's do the noose. That's the exit disguise. All right, we have to change the. Um, In all the chaos after you robbed the casino, noose uniforms will be a great way to get out without okay. anyone giving you trouble. You're gonna have to head into the belly of the beast. Go to Mission Row Police Station. See if you can steal some uniforms from the locker rooms. Six miles away. You know that's just. You yeah, okay, I got confused. You have to go in and change it off of Bug Stars and again get the uh, the group uh, group sex uh, uniforms, and that's how you can get in real easy. But this will be good. This isn't optional. But the last time I did this, I couldn't find the darn where the uniforms were to sneak out. But you want to have all the prep done, especially in case you end up doing the uh, the heist with someone who actually knows what they're doing, which I'm not new. No. As I recall, this is another stealth mission that doesn't really have much chance of going well. I end up just shooting my way through the whole thing. But you can die 19 times and then just eventually get them. I think the real problem is is that you can't just grab them both and go. I think I have to go back and forth. So we're probably going to need a buzzard before we go in here. We'll call in the buzz. Because I'll tell you what, this is a long drive. You say, why aren't you flying? It's actually, at this point, if you got this straight a shot, you're better with wheels on the ground. Because it will do 127 or something like that on the ground. It only do 90 in the air. So it is, it is faster to drive in this case. And there is some physics to that. I mean, imagine it would take an awful lot more energy to lift this puppy off the ground. I mean, you know. It's I mean, you should be able to go and get a bag with a uniform and just, just carry that out. With, with, with a bag with both uniforms, you know? Hmm. 
Now instead of dealing with anything, now we pop over the top. So it's not even a stealth. Buzzard man, good, well placed. Okay, what are we, what are we gonna go with? Laser, when we need it. How you doing? Watch it there, boss. Watch this. Hi guys. I'm saying hello to all the police. Going to get changed. Going to the locker rooms. There's no way out. Oh dear. Shotgun to the face. I switched to the wrong weapon. Now I'm outside. Now I'm way outside. Fine. We tried to do it nice. Four star wanted. Laser the face. It's an ugly mission, it really is. You're pretty tough. I have to pretty much just shoot everybody. <laughs> Magic noose appeared in front of me. Oh dear. How many times am I going to have to die? How many times? I lose 500 every time. Thank God I've got 11 million. Okay, fine. We'll do this. Whoa, that looked like... It. What the hell hit me? Fine, you know what? Fine, you want to be this way? Okay, so that's one. Now I have to take that one outfit and deliver it to the RK. One outfit. Shot 18 to dead again. But at least it's next to next to Decker grab it and pull it back in. You know, it's Where's my helicopter? There it is. I say, why use the helicopter? Because it's way faster. And the darn Deluxo. I think I took a bullet. All right. Well, this this may end up getting me a uh, a fresh buzzard by the time I get back. The buzzard may. It's such a long flight. 
We need to get some altitude so this thing can close down a little bit. Avoid all the little police guys. Ideally, we want to time this four star out by the time we drop in and get back here. Luckily, there's not a time limit on this mission, I don't think. I mean, every so often you'll have a mission like this where it's like. Oh, they stab me. They've seen me. And a wounded buzzard. It's blinking again. Okay, we don't want to go... <laughs> Normally going into the military base is a good idea. Okay, you know what? Let one loose. Get off me. This thing is going down in the mountains. This is not good. Award <coughs> when pigs can fly. Oh dear. Pull the chute. Wait, 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 nope. Oh, don't want to land right there. Poor nick of time, okay. Alright, this is less than optimal. Alright, that's more optimal. But we're still a very long way away. Helicopter died at just the wrong time. I have to get down to a road. Ideally, I could pull in another buzzard. Uh, running down a mountain with a bunch of cop calls. Because then I have to fly back. Um, you Maybe what we could do... Let's do this. Let's call in... Let's call in the... The personal vehicle here, because we're not that far away. Your special personal vehicle is impounded. Okay, fine. Let's call assistant. You're through, boss. That shouldn't be a problem. I'll have your personal vehicle collected as soon as possible. And there's an oppressor mark douche on the wing right around me. Now that's that's kind of troubling. You really can't just go straight up the side of a mountain with it, necessarily. You get a little bit of altitude. See, it starts to glance off the side. Okay, so these guys seem like they're having some stress. That works for us. <sighs> wow, and that's just to get one. Now we got to go back. See what I mean? This is like just really, this is, alright, a fresh buzzard. You want me to put a missile in your face? And we fly. Now here's an interesting question. Will they recognize me? Hey, it's a guy in a helicopter dressed with the American flag and a cowboy hat. That looks like, like the guy who escaped with one of our uniforms. Do you think he's going to cause trouble again?
have the cops abandoned the police station? Are they all out looking for me? I mean, there's things we can hope for, I guess. I want to land well here. Okay, that's not too bad. I guess we could use this in a pinch. Go back inside. Four stars again. There's a thing again. That, that worked out. We found it a lot faster this time. There's nobody here. Well, that kind of works. They're all upset again. Oh, come on. Here we go. That was a shotgun blast. Launch. Go, 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 go. Up, up, up. Up, Simba. Go right across the buildings. Just for the fun of it. Let's lose this helicopter coming behind me. <laughs> that actually did track around and come back on the helicopter. I'm gonna need another another helicopter. <laughs> They're getting shot to bits, and this is not a durable machine. Okay, I got an idea. It's a bad idea. But it's an idea nonetheless. Let's find a spot. This will work. Well, let me land. We want auto land, I'll bet. But let me land. And then, what we need to do. Take out the choppers. That they can lose track of me. They can't see me. Unless they have a chopper. This is getting expensive. Why aren't they? That means they can't see me. They should. <laughs> Pigs can fly too. This is not going well. Okay. Well, they're all here. There's peel away and head out over the ocean. I'm smoking again. I'm taking more bullets. Come on. This is entirely too exciting. Now we're starting to die again. Okay, so we're going to want to stay a little bit closer to the coast, but that means... Oh, they just all of a sudden teleported in. Look at that. And suddenly, cops... Okay, we're, we're clear of a lot. I don't know why I'm suddenly blinking. Oh, there's just suddenly a helicopter. Now, I'm going to have to stay near a road because I'm going to need to call in. 
set of wheels at some point. Why would there be cops just driving on the beach? All this to get, you know, something you could probably get from Taney's, you know what I'm saying? Just go to a costume so shop. Taney's is a local costume shop. That's been in Scranton for nigh on to 80 years. Something along those lines. It's been here forever. We're beeping out. I'm not in a good place. Gee, you think? Okay, um... Okay, that's not working. This should work. Right now, the helicopters are my only problem. I mean, it's too not to be my only problem, but... Okay, look. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do something creative here. Okay, I'm going here by next to the sheer cliff face. So they can't come down and get me. I gotta get the pilot, get to get the pilot. We need something heavier. Who's shooting me? Oh, I'm dead now. And now they're all down there. It's a, the bag is now surrounded by cops. Like, I'm not sure this could have gone worse. Like, I'm just gonna die over and over and over again. You realize that. We need another plan. Alright. I have another plan. Come on, bring me the wheels. Bring me some wheels. Where's my car? Come on. I'm gonna die again. Oh great, now I got a five minute thing. This is not this is gonna fail. They've impounded my car again. I'll bet ya. No? Yep, there's my Like I literally don't think I can pull this off. I think I have completely effed it. No, I don't need that, I need the assistant. Okay, here's what we gotta do. There's only one hope. That's another buzzard. Because I'm not gonna get my other car back fast enough. I'm not gonna be able to get there fast enough with that car. So what we're gonna have to do is get this somehow. With a four star. Get back up someplace where I can get to a road. Where is um? There must be a ladder here someplace. Okay, can we lose them? I don't know if it can take, take us longer to lose a four star. Is that a police boat? We need to get to a road. But here, there we go. 
this will work. Now I'm getting shot at, but we can probably inventory snacks, snack it up. Why did you put that in the gun? Shit. I mean, we're gonna fail this. Totally, totally fail this. I need. Okay, let's do this. There's only one hope. That's that I can land on the damn thing and then get the new outfits. After blasting everyone with missiles, and then in the next two minutes, try and get. Fire! Where are they? Where are the new subjects all over here? They're all coming down the steps. I'm being shot to bits. How many thousands of dollars? I wonder if you if you do. Okay. I just flubbed that up. In bed, moron. One minute. Can we get back to it in one minute? I don't think so. One minute thirty. Can I get out of here without getting killed? Probably not. No, no, don't land in the water. <laughs> that miss. Come on, we gotta go. We gotta move. We're not far. Please, come on. We're this close. Look at 42 seconds. Dump it down, dump it down, dump it down here. Okay, well that will throw them off the pace here. That's... Okay, could this be the most frustrating failure ever? Nine. All right, they disappear, and I still have a four star. Okay, we got more than halfway there. Respectable. Now be in touch. It's not respectable. I'm bitter at this point. Not yet, but we're gonna. What the hell? Come go up the steps. Yeah, pretty much. Why will it not go up? Probably don't. Okay. No. Why does it do that? Why does it deselect my my proper weapons? You got my back. Go ahead, well, ready. Ready. 
Let's just make this real expensive. <laughs> Alright, I'm dead. Will they leave me alone now? <sighs> Alright, I've had enough of that. That's that's enough of that. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.